Aquarius. This is y'all weekly message. Aquarius, this is 11.33 on the clock. Y'all could be dealing with uh, um, cancer. Um, Somebody say they wouldn't really even think about you. You're not even on their mind. You're really a non-motherfucking factor, to be honest. I'm tired of crying myself to sleep. I'm tired of being alone. I'm tired of going through the rigmarole. Because you've been busy playing games. And let's just say two can play that game. And I can play it better than you. Oh, crook. What that? What y'all got going on, Aquarius? Shit. Two by her is playing. So, you know, somebody playing some games. Somebody might have got caught playing some games. Somebody might have thought you, you was a little naive. A little wet behind the ears. But they soon found out. Ain't no love. Ain't no, um, ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun. That's crime. See what y'all got going on. Somebody is unhappy, unsatisfied. Somebody has some secrets that could have came out. Somebody has um, given somebody some space. Because somebody been playing somebody for a fool. Somebody feels like y'all have unfinished business. So, unsatisfied is in reverse. So, somebody is satisfied with a particular situation or a particular outcome. Somebody is satisfied with mending their fences with you. Detachment and forgiveness. Because somebody feels like y'all have a soul contract. Somebody might need to meditate. Somebody might be going to church. Somebody might be Catholic. Somebody might wear a rosary. Somebody might pray for the rosary. Somebody might be doing um, meditation. Somebody could be white and lighting white candles. Somebody been crying. Somebody might be have a cold or sick. Um, somebody could be on celibate island. Uh, somebody's a Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, we got ten of cups. So we got the ten of cups. I don't know if somebody sees you as Ten of Cups with them or, or not. I don't know. Or somebody is praying that you forgive them because they detached from this relationship. They gave you space. They gave you too much space. And now they're trying to come back and give you some good news. Because they want this Ten of Cups with you. Excuse me. Confirmation. Somebody is reflecting on things. Y'all could be mirroring each other. This could be your twin. But they see you as their ten of cups. This is definitely somebody that ghosted you. They ghosted you. Stopped talking to you. They was cold. They cut you off. They was um, giving you the silent treatment. Didn't want to be bothered with you. Made you feel alone. Now they're coming towards you to have victory and success. And to tell you how much that they love you. How much they want to be with you. How much they want to give towards this connection. I'm hearing How We Roll by Sierra. That's just how we roll. This is someone that you feel trapped with. You feel trapped in your head with it. You feel like you have a lot of anxiety when it comes to this. You feel trapped because this person is toxic, but somebody wants a new passionate beginning or they want to redo with you. 
You got messages coming from this person after they ghosted you, after not saying nothing or not hearing nothing from this person, after they treated you coldly, after they disguarded uh, you, they're coming towards you because they don't want things to end. They want to transform things. They're tired of the silent treatment. They want this new cup with you. They want to redo this love with you. They're now being courageous or somebody is a Leo or they're going, going towards a Leo. You got the King and Queen of Cups. So y'all both feel the same way. Y'all both have the same amount of love for one another. This is someone that was a player. They could have been swinging that wine everywhere. So you started to be by yourself or you left this person alone because... They had toxic ways and you didn't want you wasn't playing that shit. So you started to love on yourself. And once you loved on yourself, this person realized that now they want to come in and heal this connection. Now they want to come in and pick um to work on this connection. To try to transform this connection to try to put in unnecessary work. Because they've been burdened and stressed out ever since you left them. Ever since you stopped speaking to them. They've been cool and heartless. But there has made a there's been a decision made by the universe that there is no more playing around. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So this is love and um, passion. And they do see that you being the end all be all. This is someone that is trapped up in their head because of how they feel about you. This is someone that's trapped up in their head because they know that they ghosted you. They know that they detached from you. So now they want to come towards you and ask for your forgiveness. And they want to be victorious with this connection because you the one that they really want to be with. And they feel like y'all have unfinished business. When you're truly ready for it, that's when this will take place. Within a month. Fall time. And we are in fall. Bottom of the deck, October. Something could have happened in October last month. You know, this person does feel like this person does feel like they have a soul contract with you. It's killing them to not be with you. I'm hearing um I don't wanna tell them. No more second chances. I don't wanna tell them. You can take my heart. Taurus, uh, Ghana, I think it's a Gemini, I'm not sure. Somebody could be an Aries. Somebody wanna get naked with ya. Cause the signs of love making is something serious. Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, 9 and 10. Um, yeah. So my birthday can be September the 10th or October the 9th. But this is y'all weekly message. I love y'all. Get your merch. All the information y'all need is down below. Get your subscription as well. I love y'all. Y'all be easy.